Hey Magic the Gathering players and collectors, it's Ivy again. We're gonna, uh, this is actually kind of a follow-up or sort of a review video of that huge Facebook random marketplace buy that I got a few weeks ago. Remember the guy I told you about with the purple challenger and he just was getting out of magic, just wanted to get rid of a lot of his old bulk honestly and some other random cards that he had. So uh, this actually turned out to be a really big win. There was a lot of really cool stuff that came out of that box. I kind of put made a little sort of buffet here of what I pulled from the Four Horsemen, Unlimited, um, and some of the other stuff. Um, of course, I got a huge stack sitting over here. I may try to thumb through some of them real quick, but it's a pretty big stack of stuff that has some value on it. But I want to hit the Four Horsemen and some of his early stuff first. Um, I will make a mention, um, after the, after he sent me the stuff, he said that he did have a few more cards just laying around, and he just, he just sent them to me, um, I guess for free, and so I ended up with two more Magical Tutors, uh, or Mystical Tutors, excuse me, uh, Copy Artifact, which is a really good hit, that's a good one, an Opt, um, a Howling Mine from Revised, and a Ashnod's Altar, so I did get a few more good cards, um, out of this buy, so, he was a really nice gentleman, you know, really very, very uh, supportive of me playing Magic and just keeping, you know, collecting his cards and all that good stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. These, again, were, were after I had gotten all those pages and binders. This is um, extra stuff. Um, again, in the binders, we did pull some really cool stuff here. Of course, we have Fast Bond. It's foreign, obviously. It's, um, I think that's German, honestly, German Fast Bond. It's on the reserve list. Uh, it is banned in a lot of formats. Well, actually, it's only banned. In, is it banned in Commander? I don't know if it's banned in other formats offhand. But I know Commander, since I play a lot of Commander, it's you can't play it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but it is reserve list, so obviously I'll keep it. Um, I have these two mystical tutors that are foreign. Um, I guess whatever. You know, I know what they do, and most players typically know what a tutor does. So um, I do have one of the other English one that he had in the binder. Uh, or in the binder pages, uh, I put that one actually in a deck, so I ended up getting five mystical tutors out of this um, out of this one uh, random buy. So really good good pulls just on those alone. Um, now the four horsemen, uh, I separate into two piles here. This is all English here. These are non English. So uh, these ones here are pretty much I want to say. Okay, I, I think it's French and Italian. I think most of them I got were, these were all French and Italian. These are the um, English language cards. So uh, let's kind of dive into some of these and see what we got. Um, if I, I'll, t I'll kind of say the names on these. Um, and then if, I, if we, we're going to look at the foreign stuff, I, don't, I can't, I don't know. I, I don't want to say that uh, that word improperly in that person's language. So I'm just going to kind of thumb through those real quick. But at least we can get an idea of some of these English ones. So... We got Goblin Shrine, Orc General, Goblin Caves, Cave People, again, from the dark. Uh, goblin Digging Team. See see a theme here going on? Goblins, guys. Uh, Sisters of the Flame. I did not have, I don't think I had any of these cards. No Sisters of the Flame. Uh, it sounds kind of neat because it is a, um, a mono red card that you can produce mana on. So it's like a little mana dork for red. I mean, there have been some cards like this before, but they're kind of uncommon. You don't see a lot of... Creatures just pump, you know, tapping and making mana for you in red. So, kind of neat. Um, goblins of the Flarg, Brothers of Fire, Goblin Rock Set. So, goblins, goblins, and more goblins, guys. Uh, Marsh Gas, Mar Merc Dwellers, Bog Rats, Word of Binding, Inquisition, Banshee, Bog Imp, Miracle Worker, Brainwash, Pikeman, Squire, Holy Light, Marsh Goblins, Dark Heart of the Wood, Waterworm, Riptide, Ghost Ship, Gaia's Touch, Savian Elves, and Land Leeches, Standing Stones, and Living Armor. So, uh, it's a pretty good stack. And keep in mind, guys, some of these, there's multiple copies in here. So, you can look and kind of see how, I mean, I don't know if the camera will focus on it. There's like three or four copies in some of these stacks. Um, Brothers, I think there's like two in there. Um... Uh, yeah, like Sisters had like three or four, I think. Marsh Gas, I think there's like three or four of those. So you can kind of see there's a lot of copies of these cards. So it's really, really kind of, really cool. Uh, next one, let's take it. Well, we'll look at, yeah, let's just take a look at the Forens. Um, just real quick, I'm just going to kind of thumb through them. You can kind of see what came in the Foren. Um, I, again, I don't know what, how to say these words correctly. So I know that's Fisher. <laughs> 
if it's English and looks the same. We know it's Six Sisters of the Flame, but obviously, you know, another language. Um, but that's what came in the foreign pile. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Legends. So Legends, uh, not as many as the Dark, but still a lot of good cards in Legends. So I got a Giant Turtle, a Glyph of Reincarnation, Fire Sprites, Subdue, Hornet Cobra, Fortified Area. You know, when I first pulled this out of there, guys, I really thought I had a moat. I, I <laughs> If I would have pulled a moat out of here, I probably just would have flipped out. I mean, it's, it's over $1,000 for one, and... Never had one, can't afford one, but boy, if I pulled one out of a box, it'd be absolutely amazing. It's one of those cards I've always wanted to have. Just, just you know, kind of put her in a deck or have one. It'd be kind of neat. Um, we got um, Enchanted Being, Tundra Wolves. <laughs> Wolves, jeez, wow. You know, that's pretty pretty brutal, huh? Back in the day, imagine... I mean, magic cards are, have always had, like, a lot of visceral imagery on it, but look at this. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, it's like watching David Attenborough. Like, um... You know, one of those nature nature TV shows or whatever. Keepers of the Faith, uh, Indestructible Aura, um, Armor Kith, or excuse me, Amru Kithkin. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards from back in the day just because of the art. Um, a lot of magic cards don't have a lot of value or sometimes they're not even that good in a deck. But, you know, the card like this, um, uh, I just liked it because of the art. And Quentin Hoover has a really interesting style. Um, I have a lot of his, like, old-school art from this time period on different cards. Um, some of them are worth a lot, some not, but you know what? I just like the art. You know, like like the one guy. He likes the stock. I like the art. It's really pretty. Um, De Avenant Archer, uh, Osai Vultures, Glyph of Life, Cyclopean Mummy, Giant Slug, Remove Soul, Flash Flood. That's never good. I'm in Florida. It's never good when you have one of those happening. And Energy Tab. So, we got that. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the... There's a huge pile of foreign ones. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at them. I, again, I'm not going to try to say this um, unless I can actually read it and know what that says. Rougine? Rougine? I think it's French. Uh, oh, this is um, uh, Pradish Gypsies. Wizards actually, uh, for sensitivity reasons, banned this card. So, in a, in a weird sort of way, which I don't see talked about on a lot of channels, this is fundamentally added to the reserve list. You know that, right, guys? So, any Pradish gypsy, Gypsies, you should probably keep them. They're basically now reserve list cards. Um, amongst, like, stone-throwing devils, I think. Jihad. Um, the one blue card. What is that? Um, in Legends. There's a blue card in Legends that got banned, too. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. What is that thing? Um... Invoke Prejudice, yeah, that one supposedly is really offensive, so they decided they would uh, they would punt that one. Um, anyway, so we got the, these ones here. Now, there's Arborea. It is a foreign language, Arborea, but this is also on the reserve list, so it's kind of a cool card to have in there. I thought it was neat. And pretty much all these other ones, and that's it. I think there might be some uncommons in the foreign pile, some pretty good stuff. Next, we're going to go ahead and check out um, Antiquities. Guys, Antiquities. I mean, wow. I, I don't I hardly have any cards from Antiquities. It's just amazing. So, we got Graveshot Catapult, Staff of Zegon, Urza's Chalice, Tablet of Epiteer, Amulet of Krug. It sounds like something from, from like, Star Trek, like Klingons or something. Um, Yodian Soldier, Phyrexian Gremlins, Priest of Yagma, Artifact Ward, Reverse Polarity and Argivian Blacksmith. So that was kind of cool. Some really good pulls. And again, there's uh, multiples of some of these. Like this Reverse Polarity. I think there's like six of them in there. Six of the same card. It's pretty incredible. Uh, next, we're going to look at the, just quick thumb through some of these forens to see what we got. And kind of see what came in there. A lot of pretty good cards, though. I mean, I'm, I, I didn't own like, hardly any of these. So it's just neat to have them. Uh, there wasn't a lot of... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Arabian Nights. Um, this is a extremely old set. It's the very first ex expansion for Magic. I believe this came out in early 94 at some point. First expansion. I had one Sandstorm, which it, this card in itself, I think it was worth like few, like five or six bucks just for the common. It's a common, but it's worth something. Um, now these are, we also have some more Arabian Nights, but again, these are a foreign, so they have multiple sandstorms like a variety and then there's like four uh multiple vipers or whatever the turtle um 
Bird Maiden, and uh, Piety. So these, again, are all foreign copies of these cards, but it's still just cool to, to have them. I mean, geez, Arabian Nights. <laughs> I, I can't complain about something like that. That's just amazing that, that they're that old. Um, now, here's where the, the real big shine was in this collection. So this stack is all unlimited cards, guys. I went ahead and, and double-checked, and every one of these is unlimited. So let's take a look and see what I got out of here. So I got a Sea Serpent. I um, got a Bog Wraith, a Soul Net, Merfolk of the Pearl Trident, Drain Life, Pestilence, Frozen Shade, Wall of Ice, Life Lace, uh, or excuse me, Life Force, Life Lace, Channel, uh, Tsunami, War Mammoth, Grizzly Bears, Fog, Wall of Wood, Wall of Brambles, Tranquility, Wanderlust, Goblin Balloon Brigade, Stone Rain, Dwarven Warriors, Wall of Fire. I wonder if I should put that in my wall there. Nah, nah, not, no. Nah, not that good. Uh, Herloon Minotaur. Mons, Goblin Raiders. Tunnel. Grey Ogre. Burrowing. Fire Breathing. Earthvine. This was a really good hit. Again, Quentin Hoover Art. It's one of my, one of my favorite cards from the set. Uh, there's a few of these that are really nice. Even in the old days that they were... You know, back when, you know, Magic was just getting started out, some of these artists still put forth a lot of effort to really present a certain style or fantasy sort of, you know, from like, if you remember some books from the early 90s and late 80s, there was a lot of these books that had this type of style of art in them. Um, there were certain fantasy books and things, and they were really good. And it just kind of took you to that whole other world. And this type of art always did it for me, stuff like that. So pretty. Um, Hill Giant. Uh, Flash Flyers, Iron Claw Orcs. I think there's multiple copies of Iron Claw in there. Yeah, guys, some of these are like multiple thick. This is just, I decided to put all the same cards in one sleeve. So, um, Fire Elemental, she was actually worth something. She's almost got like 20 bucks for this one. And I think there's two in there. Uh, Orcish Aura Flame, Holy Armor, Red Ward, Blue Ward, White Ward, Holy Strength, a Guardian Angel, Resurrection, Disenchant, Karma, Death Ward, Mesa Pegasus, Black Ward, Lance, Conversion, Pearl Unicorn. Again, there's a bunch of them in there. Samite Healers, several. Ventilish Hero, a, a Forest, another Forest, Channel, and Kudzu. I have multiple copies of Kudzu. This is actually um, for sure worth some. Actually, no, I think these are revised. I think I put a stack of revised in here just because they were in the box too. Yeah, these are all revised. But there was multiple copies. I think it was like five of those. There was some other cards. Um, I actually already put them in like my special binder for some of the stuff. Uh, I did find, um, what was I trying to say? Yeah, I think it was another Life Lace that was really good condition. I put it, put it away in a special binder. And I think I had, what was it? I think I did have some Kudzus that were um, from Unlimited. So I put those in the binder as well. Um, so that's the unlimited stuff. Really huge shit. There's easily, I think the stack, if I remember correctly, I did price them out. I think there's about four hundred dollars worth of cards here, four or five hundred just in unlimited cards. Which, you know, that I scanned them about two weeks ago and checked, checked them out. So now that was all the stuff that was four horsemen or ABU going way back. Um, this was interesting. So this here is um, some of the uh, portal. Uh, portal cards, like original portal from way back in the day. Some of these, you know, some of these have some value. So you can kind of see what came in the portal pile. <laughs> Stormcrow. Uh, literally, it is an ancient, um, it's an ancient magic, the gathering related meme. So if you want to look that up, just Google Stormcrow and magic, the gathering, and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, stalking tire. You can kind of see what was in here. So these are all original Portal cards. I thought it was, there's the, I think, Portal Second Age uh, lands. The lands are actually worth something, a lot of these. So I kept out some of this old stuff because it looked really, really interesting. And I, I've been noticing these kinds of cards. People seem to be collecting them and, you know, adding them to their collections and things. So it's really pretty cool. All right, so we had some Portal there. I think there are some more Portal cards over here, too, in this big, fat stack. Um, we're going to hit the hit the big stack here real quick. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on cards, but I will kind of thumb through them and see, you can see the kind of value I got. Keep in mind, a lot of stuff was on commons, guys, on commons and commons, so there wasn't a lot of rares. Some of the rares in the pages were or something, 
but a lot of this stuff was just on commons and commons. It turned out to be either worth something or kind of useful for what I'm doing. Um, so we got, you can kind of see what's in here. This was all pulled from the, uh, from that giant bulk box. Uh, unless it's a rare. If it was a rare, it came from one of the pages. Um, you can kind of see what was in there. This is the red, of course. I did pull out, actually, some of the ones from that bin, um, and put them in a couple decks. So I actually needed a few of those cards in certain deck builds I was doing for Commander. So, um, what you see here is, a, obviously, a large majority of them. But there is still a few that I don't even have that I'm in this video that are currently sitting in decks because I thought they would be very useful. Um, Necromancer, he was pretty cool. And uh, Meteor Crater is actually worth some. This is a pretty good card. When I read it, it was like choose a color of a permanent control, add one mana of co that color to your mana pool. Kind of cool because it, it comes into play untapped. So I thought that was kind of neat. Definitely a good little card to add to a add to a deck. Uh, a Darker Waste was definitely worth, I think it's like worth 10 or 12 bucks, believe it or not. The Gorge is worth something. Some of these, the Tower, believe it or not, these Tower cards, there's a bunch of them. It turned out that I thought there were only 18 of them, but it turned out I think there was like 21, either 21 or 23. You had them like double and triple stacked inside of um, one of those Ultra Pro, Pro pages. So um, as you can see, there's even more of them. So we got more. There, each one of these I think is four or five or six in a, in, a, in a sleeve. So that's how many there were, which is so many of this particular card. Um, all right, so we've got Fairy Conclave, Urza's Power Plant, sure, why not? Uh, these surprised me. You know, I never would have thought, but apparently these hold some value. I think they're like about four or five dollars a piece in the near mint. So most of them are in pretty decent shape, but I could see that it's kind of like the modern version of a dual land. Or right, this is an old version, obviously the modern version of like a dual land where it has a check of thing where, um, you know, if you control a specific swamp or whatever you can play it untapped which is really really kind of cool you can get the mana if you have one of those things but you can still get it with the color so it's actually a pretty good card when i looked at it i was like hmm it still is usable it doesn't come into play tapped you can still use it for colorless if you don't have you know a swamp but if you do have a swamp it comes you can use that the two colors of mana so i thought this was kind of kind of cool these were a little bit of a surprise for me in terms of dual lands there are quite a few of these in here, believe it or not. Those were actually, and they're actually worth something. Um, let's take a look at some of these. Again, this is all, all that came out of that box. And kind of see what's going on there. And this actually got a couple of these. I use, I put this in a, actually I already put these in a couple decks already. And there's another Gypsies cards, guys. I, you know, there's a lot of them out there, but it, it it's on the reserve list now. You know, it's, the Wizards will never reprint Pratish Gypsies. I guarantee they're never going to touch this card with a 10-foot pole. Just because, I guess, I don't know. I, I, it's kind of obscure. I, I, assume, I assume Gypsy is kind of a derogatory phrase for somebody of the, I think it's called the Roma ethnicity. I, I, I... I I could be wrong, guys. I'm not too versed on these sorts of things, but I'm pretty sure it had something to do with that. But even then, it's kind of vague because I don't know many people that knew that, honestly. When I think of a gypsy, I just think of like, I don't know, something like uh, Renfest or something. And there's gypsies and stuff there, Just, but it's, it's not the same thing. And I, I don't think a lot of people would take offense to this. Maybe somebody does, but I don't know. Vitalize, Chatter of the Squirrel, more gypsies. Uh, crop rotation, more vitalized, sky shroud claim, fertile ground, chatter of the squirrel, Yavimea enchantress, false demise, evasive action, uh, diplomatic. I actually used this in deck once. It's a good card. Sliding hand, cloak of mist is auction, war tax, hybrid blast, mana link, counterspell, telepathy, gush, levitation. Now, this guy, believe it or not, this little Zephid guy, he's on the reserve list. Would you believe that it is a real herbless card so yeah, there was a few in there in this in this box you just i just had to dig for them basically uh millican lots of star compasses i think there was like five or six of them or something super amount of those saran orb the flu portal mirari lost legacy weapon 
You can kind of see Urza's filters, trumpet, and another altar. So, guys, um, that's a lot of cards. It really is. Um, there were many. Um, oh, and I guess I'll, you know, add some flivers. I, and this isn't even all of them. I think there's a few that I just didn't bring out to show yet, but there's some more that I have stacked upstairs. I was kind of, some of them I put in folders, so I was like, wow, i got to keep this card. But you can see this was really an amazing, phenomenal buy. I, I you know, I can tell you right now, um, when I added them all up uh, using a, um, a scanning app for these, it turned out these were easily worth about $1,200. Uh, if I counted some of the ones that were bulk, like, 50 cents and under then they're probably like 13 maybe 13 1400 and like little bolt cards that really don't have a lot of value but anything over a dollar was pretty much added up to be about no joke like 12 1200 dollars for this and i definitely did not pay 1200 dollars guys that's about i want to say it's about four times or more what i paid for it maybe closer to four and a half to five times so it was a it was a good deal i i won't complain this is actually quite phenomenal um, you know, sometimes you you luck out, sometimes you don't. I've, I've bought some things where I didn't really make any money or I didn't really get any value out of it or, or whatever. One thing, guys, don't ever buy repacks. That is a really bad idea. I don't buy them, um, but I have seen people online do that, and it's just a really bad idea. Don't, don't buy repacks, please. Anything where you can't see what you're getting, it's just a bad deal, you know, usually. Now, this looked like a good deal because of just sheer volume of cards. I was like, definitely, somehow, I'm going to pull out more money out of that box than what I'm paying for, and plus the sheet. So, um, and he threw in a little extra on, the, on top of that, so that was really nice of him. Guys, uh, thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel and checking out my videos. I hope these kind of magic videos are fun for you guys. Kind of, This was really super cool for me, just seeing these old, you know, dinosaur ancient cards. Um, and these will be added to my collection. I'm not going to sell any of this old stuff. I like to keep it and just kind of hold it and store it. And, you know, it's a good, good little investment. It's good to just have them around and kind of look at this old magic history kind of stuff. But um, anyway, I really uh, would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. Um, by all means, guys, leave me some comments. Was this an amazing thing? Did you like it? Do you think I got a good deal? Um, uh, and by all means, I will try to reply. But uh, it's really been awesome making these videos, and I will see you very soon. Bye.